Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is me and Sama Gazo, and in today's tutorial we'll be talking about this um, quick light flicker effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I actually before this tutorial only knew how to create an Adobe After Effects or I would say that I only tried to create an Adobe After Effects. But uh, there is someone actually who uh, made a comment last time on my, on my latest video and asked me to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. And um, I tried to come up with it and yeah, it was really easy. So let's just jump in and see how we can do this. All right, so first thing we have this uh, kind of street lights. So the next thing I'll be doing is creating a solid layer or a color mat, since we're actually uh, using Adobe Premiere Pro, it's called color mat. Keep everything the same and try to choose the color that matches the light you want to flicker in this video. Um, so I'm gonna choose something between white and yellow, something like this, right? Press OK, yep, and drag it on top of your video, right? <clears throat> then the following step will be actually using the mask tool, but first of all, we can just reduce the opacity a little bit in order to see what's going underneath. Then go to the, you know, uh, the pen tool or the draw bezier tool in order to create your mask. You can, of course, you can use the shape tool, but you know, since we're trying to um, uh, make it look real, so we need the pen tool in order to go exactly around the uh, the street light. All right, now we can actually uh, start, um, you know, fixing the mask and increase the feather a little bit in order to make it look better and smoother. Um, so I'm gonna just increase this a little bit and of course turn the opacity back to uh, 100 this is really important let's now that's the other one yeah it looks pretty nice but we need to work on it just a little bit more so I'm going to highlight my mask again and drag this all right so now as we fix the um, uh, the color matte layer and we you know, uh, made it look smoother. Now what we can do is to fine tune a little bit, uh, you know, add a little bit of a glow, make it look brighter, stuff like this. So what I'm gonna be doing is creating another layer from this color mat. So now I have two layers. Then go to the effects panel and search for something called Gaussian Blur. All right. Drag it and drop it onto the lower color mat first one not the upper one then increase the blurness until you think it's okay All right then what we can actually do to this layer is increase the feather even a bit more here then we can go back to the effects panel and search for something called um, glow you can find it here under stylize alpha blow Drag it and drop it onto the same lower color matte layer. Then start, you know, just change these sliders a little bit, not too much. Okay. End color. You can also change the end color just to, uh, you know, in order to make it a better fit to the whole composition. <sighs> right you know I don't really like it that way I'm sorry guys I'm actually trying this out the first time with you I didn't like I didn't prepare anything to this tutorial so I'm trying it with you the first time which is actually cool a little bit challenging so I'm gonna be searching for something for example brightness I'll go to brightness and contrast drag it and drop it onto the second one and try to just make it brighter yeah that actually that's that's getting nicer all right now let's try something out let's just go to the blend mode and change it to um screen no let's add i guess add let's do yeah that's actually really nice. 
Uh, so I'm gonna be creating, I guess, another copy from the upper one and go back to the lower maps and let's um, increase the blurriness a little bit. So now, what else we can do? Um, we can go to the mask, for instance, and yeah, that's nice. All right, now I got it. Yeah. Actually, it looks so much nicer now. I mean, I can still definitely work on it, but I guess you guys got the pattern, you got how to work on it, uh, how many layers you need, what kind of effects you can use here in the effects panel in order to make it come to reality. So uh, the last and most important step here in this process is actually to create keyframes using the opacity indicator here in order to flicker this light. And the way to do this is, all right, start off by dragging this uh, opacity where, all right, so now I'm, I'm actually working in the first color mat and I'm gonna be creating a keyframe. Let's just delete this. At the beginning of my composition and set the opacity at zero. Same to the other two layers. Zero, delete this one. And the last one. All right, so now let's animate uh, these keyframes. So uh, the first one is zero. Let's move uh, like three keyframes or something and set it up to um, 25, for example. Then move one or two keyframes, turn it back to zero. Then five keyframes, turn it up to 45. One or two keyframes, zero. And Then uh, one or two keyframes, turn it up to 50. One keyframe, turn it down to zero. Then the last one will be definitely 100%. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, that's pretty much the idea behind it. Just play a little bit around with the keyframes in order to have something that looks real and fit nice into your composition. Um, the last thing I would probably um, recommend here is just to go to the effects panel and search for brightness and contrast that we previously used. But this time we'll be dragging it onto the main footage we have and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to reduce the brightness of the uh, the sky a little bit in order to make the light flicker even more obvious um, and you know what like if you want to go some extra miles uh, you can actually animate this uh, brightness here um, alongside the keyframes you toggle to the color mats alright guys so that was pretty much everything about the uh, light flicker effects in Adobe Premiere Pro uh, again, it's so much easier in Adobe After Effects since you can actually um, deal with the keyframes uh, much easier. But, you know, as long as you guys are m way more interested in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, it's okay. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and see you next time.